Live and on demand, this is WNY News Now. Thanks for joining us for WNY News Now. I'm Justin Gould. Here's a look at some headlines we're following. The rise in positive COVID-19 cases, including several at a North County business, has Jamestown Mayor Eddie Sunquist voicing concerns because many of the employees live in Jamestown. Sunquist issued a letter urging the public to cooperate with contact tracers investigating the outbreak. Chautauqua County officials announced 50 new cases of COVID-19 in the county yesterday, with more than half related to Field Brook Farms. Public Health Director Christine Schuyler is reminding businesses that she has the authority to file cease and desist orders, which comes with a $1,000 fine for those violating state regulations. We have not gone to that extreme in our county because we really feel we have got a great relationship with our businesses, our industry, as well as our community members. So I'm imploring you to please assist us with this so we can get outbreaks such as this under control and keep them under control. Officials say there are 31 active cases with 21 of them related to Fieldbrook. A Bemis Point woman is in county lockup after allegedly striking and dragging a child up a stairwell over the weekend. New York State Police alleged 30-year-old Taja Pettit struck the minor victim approximately four times and then dragged her upstairs by the ear, all in the presence of a younger child. Troopers say when a third party attempted to interfere and stop Pettit from abusing the child, she allegedly struck him. When responding officers attempted to place her into custody, they said she became disorderly and attempted to flee the scene but was eventually arrested following a brief struggle. Pettick was taken to Chautauqua County Jail and faces several charges. Well, a resolution calling for a law to establish a five-year residency requirement for police officers hired from January 1st and beyond was verbally amended to 10 years during a Jamestown City Council work session last night. Several members of the council, including retired Jamestown police officer Jeff Russell, says that officers should live in Jamestown during their careers for an extended period of time in order to be more involved and in tune with the community. Russell says he became frustrated with officers working here in the city before leaving for their dwelling outside of Jamestown. And I did witness that on the job. It was very frustrating for me as a citizen to um, see officers that never worked or never lived a single day in the city and that they would uh, take their paycheck and drive back to Westfield or Fredonia or whatever. And, and it was very frustrating on, on my part. And it would be even more frustrating when I would see these individuals that would, they would move up in rank um, so now you're talking about they're making even more money and taking more money from the citizens and going back to uh, back to their communities. Jamestown Mayor Eddie Sunquist says his staff will re-prepare the law. A special meeting will need to be conducted prior to a final vote. Well, officials are warning boaters on Chautauqua Lake to steer clear of new devices that monitor Lake Elgin. The devices are now deployed on the lake to monitor water conditions in an effort to learn more about harmful algae blooms. One monitor will be in the middle of the lake between DeWittville Bay and Irwins Bay, while the other will be located between Colburns and Cheney Point. Boaters are asked to avoid the platforms and mooring lines, which they say extend beyond the barge. The platforms will be illuminated from dusk until dawn. Coming up, we get a check of your first defense weather forecast. That next. With coverage that matters, this is WNY News Now. EagleZip.com is your local one-stop shop for all of your home and business computer needs. Located on Fluvanna Avenue Extension, just outside of Jamestown, EagleZip.com sells and services all brands of desktops and laptops, as well as servers and network equipment for your business. All new computer sales include transferring your data from your old computer plus a two-year warranty. Call EagleZip.com today. Stop by EagleZip.com today and let us make computers easy for you. I grew up in a single parent home. 
We were raised by my mom in a one-bedroom apartment in Queens, and I slept in what was supposed to be a dining room just off the kitchen. We were poor and fell behind in our bills. More than once, our electricity was shut off, and there were eviction notices taped to our door. I remember walking into our kitchen and finding my mother standing by the stove, crying to herself because she didn't know what to do and felt helpless. I was about nine or ten when our apartment was robbed. I remember arriving home with my mother and brother and finding the door open, feeling confused because the first thing I saw was that our television, a set which forever sat on a stand in, in the living room, was missing. I know firsthand what it's like to be a victim to be assaulted, robbed, to have things taken from you which you're never going to get back, and to be scarred by experiences which 30 and 40 years later still haunt me. We're lucky enough to live in Chautauqua County where by and large we feel safe, but unfortunately bad things do happen here. I want to be the district attorney who personally prosecutes the most serious crimes and who's there for victims every step of the way. These are the people I want to represent, to fight for their justice, to fight for our justice in the courtroom, to help people who have suffered at the hands of others. This is why I want to be your district attorney. You're watching WNY News Now, where coverage comes first. First Defense Weather, the Southern Tier's only live and local weather source. Now, here's Chief Forecaster Dakota Hunter. All right, welcome back. And hey, how about the sunset last night? Did you get a chance to see this? Take a look at this great shot that came in from David of the sun going down over Chautauqua Lake last night. That is just Ah, peaceful. And of course, if you have any pictures or videos of the weather, Hunters WX on Facebook and Twitter, and of course, the First Defense Weather page on Facebook, and that is how, and, uh, that's how you get it to us, and we will get them on the air. So through the afternoon today, any of the showers and storms will come to an end for essentially later this afternoon, then partly to mostly sunny skies. There's a small chance a couple of them, especially early this afternoon, could be strong to severe, but the threat is uh, relatively low. 74 to 83 with a nice northwest breeze averaging about 7 to 14 miles per hour. So as I just told you, much of the afternoon today is going to be dry after those storms come to an end. Now, tomorrow will be mainly dry. The best chance for rain tomorrow is going to be later in the afternoon into Wednesday night. And then through Wednesday night all the way through Friday, we will have a chance for uh, strong to severe thunderstorms during that whole period. And uh, Laura is single as a Pringle down there in the Gulf of Mexico since Marco has now since uh, become a post-tropical cyclone. So uh, the uh, SPC Conductive Outlook for today has trimmed that slight risk back back so basically the southern tier is now under that low end marginal risk a level one out of five but uh, warren county pennsylvania is under that uh, standard slight risk and again the threat uh, basically through the afternoon not looking all that excessive now tomorrow the whole region under, uh, is under a slight risk for tomorrow that's a two out of five we keep the slight risk for thursday and then on friday the spc has us under a 15 percent risk for seeing strong to severe thunderstorms on friday and uh, if you actually calculate that out that is on almost the same thing as a slight risk. So we can basically say for Friday, another slight risk um, is essentially outlined by the Storm Prediction Center. So let's time it out. We'll show you future scan. You can see the model shows you a couple of those isolated showers and storms through the afternoon. They fade away and then we should get into partly to mostly sunny skies. Dry tonight. Now tomorrow, as I told you, will be mainly dry. And then you can see as we go into the later part of the day, a few showers popping up here. And then those will continue uh, essentially Wednesday night into Thursday. Now this particular model only goes out so far, but you can see by the day Thursday, notice this big batch of showers and storms coming in from the north. Again, any one of them could be strong to severe and they'll ultimately sag their way from north to south as we go through the day on Thursday. Let's check a look at the tropics very quickly here. Tropical storm Laura now in the Gulf of Mexico. It is now a hurricane, a category one hurricane, uh, 75 mile per hour winds on NOAA. Uh, the, um, the, uh, the, uh, uh, Hurricane Hunter's uh, aircraft uh, determined she was a hurricane this morning. And the forecast track has this coming up into the Gulf of Mexico. And uh, notice it's strengthening to a Category 3 hurricane before landfall near Louisiana Thursday morning. And uh, so this could be a very uh, a uh, very uh, impactful storm for the Gulf of Mexico. And then as we go into the later part of the week, into the weekend, notice how it rides basically up into the uh, northeast. That's going to be our main threat for Saturday. We could see uh, some 
tropical moisture from the remnants of Laura as it moves out into the Atlantic waters. Now, the future is on the screen. We highlight uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday in red to show you that uh, severe potential. Saturday, again, moisture from uh, the remnants of Laura as it goes out into the Atlantic. And then, ah, look at the cool down. 70 Sunday, 73 on Monday, and we should be mainly dry at that point. And the cool air looks like it will at least continue for at least the early part of next week. Dakota, thank you. That's it for our update today. We remind you, when you're on the go, simply stay in the know by downloading the WNY News Now mobile app. It's free in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. We're back here tomorrow at noon. Hope to see you then.